Uh, unfortunate for me, I only met Vernon probably two and a half, three weeks ago. And immediately, my, it's touched my life. Um, it reminded me of a movie that I saw called uh, Hurricane Carter, Reuben Carter. Went to prison for the same, a similar situation where he did 20 years and died of prostate cancer. There's a movie about it. Uh, Denzel Washington uh, was the star of the movie. But for all the time, I'd never, I'd only hear about a story like this on 60 Minutes. So to run into an individual that's actually practically given, given a, a significant part of his life, 25 years for a crime that he did not commit, nor is it even to be proven that he was even near it, disturbed me to a point that says that i got to do something. I am a lifelong resident of Indianapolis, Indiana, and through that time I've been able to be introduced to some very affluent people, uh, and immediately I started reaching out to uh, what I felt like might be beneficial to Vernon, and we talked to a prominent lawyer here in town, only to understand that no one does anything for free anymore. The notion still is, is that there is still help available, and it doesn't have to be free. But in the light of this situation, as I walk around and see his art for the first time, uh, there is no way that this guy could have any of the vindictive nature that he is accused of. There's no way to spend this kind of time doing this type of work, doing this type of artwork, with a smile on your face to recognize that all is not lost. Truly in myself in 60 years of living, I don't know that I'd have the same resolve. Hats off to his family that have been resilient and given him the opportunity to be in a light of being able to be here today and smile the way he does. We know it's unfair. It's unfair. But I've always been told that if you get knocked down eight times, you get up nine. This man's been getting up at least 26 times, if it's in reference to years. That's commendable. That's commendable. Get knocked down 26 times, you get up 27. The story is never about how many times you fall. So in light of that, as I sat here and I said, Vern, I need you to do me a favor and take photos. He says, I've got photos of everything here What I didn't. Unfortunately for me, I didn't trust him. <laughs> so I took photos myself because the idea and the notion is is I trust him. <laughs> but the notion is is that what we, what my intentions are is I've kind of rummaged this around to try to figure out where the next best avenue is to get him fully exonerated and, like, and, and get retribution to him for the 25 years he's lost. My effort goes to what we've, what's been made popular by social media as a GoFundMe page. We're going to build the page. We're going to try and get some names that are prominent to it. We're going to assign a powerful appellate court attorney to it. And then we'll move on from there. Because nothing of nothing else, truly, he deserves the freedom that we've enjoyed our entire lifetime. So through, through his partners here, and, I, and I'm assuming that the things out of Notre Dame are working as well, um, my intentions are to build that GoFundMe page. You guys look for it. He will let you know. Everyone will know where it is. And we'll try and put together a fund that gets him the right representation to get him exonerated in the right way, make him whole, and clear his name. Thank you.